British Prime Minister, British High Commissioner Katro Nalang has rated Nigeria high on the incidences of sexual and gender-based violence, pledging support to help curb the menace. She made this session during her official visit to Lagos, where she presents a check to Mirabel Center, Nigeria's first sexual assault referral center. Jacinta Obioko reports. Her visit is to get the latest update on sexual and gender-based violence from Mirabel Center and offer more support in curbing the societal ill. Much too high. Um, one in uh, one quarter of women and indeed young women and boys have uh, suffered some kind of sexual or gender-based violence. Um, I'm afraid it's, um, there's too much impunity, there's not enough accountability, and it will continue until people are brought to prosecution and held to account for these terrible crimes. Um, so we must do more. We need the legal frameworks, need accountability, and we need to support people who are victims of this in helping them rebuild their lives, and that's where the Mirabel Centre comes in. Part of the update given by the founder of Mirabel Centre is that despite support from different agencies, very little has changed about the crime. A lot of things are happening at the upper level, you know, but a major concern is how does it impact on the people you know, in the communities? How does that stop the issue of rape in, in, in the first place? How does that give them the confidence to make a report, knowing that that report will be treated without them having to spend additional money? In a bid to curb the growing speed of sexual violence in Nigeria, the commissioner made a presentation of 11 million 700,000 naira in support of Mirabel Centre. Anyone who's watching this? Please support the Mirabel Centre. They need your support. On the other hand, part of our official visit to Lagos is to meet with the general manager of Lagos State Waterways Agency, Laswa, to showcase the UK's commitment through official cities Nigeria to improve the Lagos waterways. It ticks all the, all the boxes. It's also a fantastic opportunity for bringing British expertise, and we have a lot of expertise in water transport. Fantastic city of Lagos, but people are stuck in traffic, so um, there's huge opportunity opportunities here, a journey that um, might take you now one hour, 30 minutes, could be reduced to 10 minutes. General Manager Laswa stresses that her visit will boost the ongoing project on waterways, which is said to have potentials to benefit up to half a million people by offering them safer, cleaner, cheaper mass transport options. Well, it's very important because obviously to come and see how much, um, how well the investment has done so far. And obviously, even with um, the very interesting year we've had, to also see reasons why to continue to support um, the fund as well, so that we can ensure that we, we, we coast home, um, even with the program at the moment. Because right now, they're about, let's say, halfway through, and they just need to be able to complete it. The Commissioner on Boat Ride with Laswa officials louds the agency's efforts put in place and pledges more support on the project they are working on to ensure safe alternative transportation means for Lagosians. Jacinta Ubiuku, Plus TV Africa.